Hi Libra and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of April 9th through the 15th, 2018. All tarot decks I'm using are listed in the description box below. And I just want to give a reminder to everybody that these are general tarot readings so they may or may not resonate with you, okay? Usually with general readings they are a hit or a miss. So. With that said, Libra, let's see what house is highlighted for you this week. All right, so we have the fourth house. I believe Aquarius also received this card. So this for you, Libra, is, you know, either something to do with your home or something to do with your family for many of you. This is general, so obviously not all of you are gonna be focused in this area. But many of you this week is either about um, buying or selling your home. You could be looking at new places to live. You could be changing your living situation or arrangements somehow, some way. Um, this could also have to do with your family, either in your own home or extended family. Somebody um, in your family could be giving birth this week or finding out that they're going to be having a baby or maybe even you. So, you know, this is all about home and family, the energy of the fourth house. So, and also like um, the emotion of unconditional love, you know, it's not so much like romantic or anything like that, but this is very like tender energy right here, this fourth house. So Libra, let's see how that is pertaining to you. Let's pull some cards to see it what is going in your favor this week and what may challenge you this week I'll tell you what these have been interesting readings this week okay. so what goes in your favor true feelings are masked libra it might be best for you to not um, expose your emotional body this week, um, no matter what it is. Like it, it might be better for you to kind of keep things to yourself this week. Um, we'll pull more cards to see why that would be. This is why that would be. <laughs> What challenges you is the Sphinx, okay? This is the great enigma, you know, the riddle. Choose your words carefully. So this is kind of like your challenge is the unknown. And because of that, I feel like that's why it's best for you to kind of keep your feelings to yourself because you might not know the right words to say or the best way to articulate yourself and it might, you know, be misunderstood. You know, apply this how it fits. This is just like, I don't know. So you really should not say. You should just keep it to yourself this week. You know, things will eventually be revealed. But let's pull some cards to get more information on those two energies. Okay. <laughs> so this is the Six of Cups. Um, to me, this is basically like anything that you're doing, anything that you're feeling, especially about somebody from the past, like keep it to yourself, okay? Because this over here, this is saying like you don't know if what you're working towards or what you're wanting, you don't know if it's going to um, pay off or work out. Like it's... Um, so if you're like trying to buy a house or move out of your house or something like really whatever your plans are 
be mum about them because with this, it's like you really don't know if it's going to work out or if it's going to pay off. Like you don't, you really don't. So yeah, let's pull more cards. Had a jumper which was honesty and a focus yeah so what I get with this is um, you need to really keep like all your feelings to yourself until you know what's up okay because you should have your intention of wanting to be honest but, um, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, yeah, because we have the Seven of Swords reversed. There's just this element where you have to kind of wait and see. So we had two jumpers. So we have the Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, that is saying your peace of mind comes from keeping everything to yourself, like 100% right there. Like that is what you, that's what gives you your peace of mind, truly, is just keeping it to yourself until you can really uh, see everything because I don't feel like, you know, with that Seven of Pentacles coming out that direction, it's like you really don't know either way. Yeah, you don't, you don't know either way. So you need to wait until you do see some sort of physical evidence. Oh, wow, that's way too many. So we'll go with these right here. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Chariot reversed, which um, that's Cancer. Cancer, you know, rules this house. So some of you could be dealing with the Cancer. We have the Five of Cups. And then we have um, the Nine of Cups reversed. Yeah. I just, with this, seriously, I feel like... Um, Putting yourself out there might leave you vulnerable, and you really need to just focus on whatever your goal is and, you know, not really worry about anybody else this week. You really need to focus on yourself and focus on honesty, um, you know, who is being honest with you and who's not being honest with you. I just... Some of you, it's like you could be dealing also with somebody who is just really coming at you with, like, a sadness. This could be, you know, a relationship from the past that is just like, you know, I'm really sad. Why did this have to end? You know, I want us back. And I just, I don't feel like this is anything that you really want, okay? You don't want it back. Uh, this is not somebody that you would be thinking about and, um, hey, I, I want you back. But, you know, if they, yeah, I think, yeah, somebody is definitely, like, trying to send you on a guilt trip, okay? And if you have gotten back with somebody else, Keep it to yourself. If you've moved in with somebody else and there's this ex coming around, don't tell them. Don't tell them what you're doing. Don't tell them what you're up to. All right. So we have the temptress. Seduction, deceit, a broken promise. Yeah. Um, whatever is coming your way this week, Libra... 
you be as honest as you can be without making yourself vulnerable, okay? But really pay attention to what somebody's saying to you because you know there might be somebody who's just trying to come in to like wreck your happy life you know like this i this energy is just somebody who is only interested in their own gain and you know i can kind of see that over here so that's why it's like your best to hold your cards to your chest this week and let others reveal themselves to you because you know, there's just, you're not seeing the full picture of what's going on here. And um, I think somebody's like trying to get you to expose yourself, to express your feelings or your plans, you know, and they're doing it in a very uh, sneaky way in a sense where you don't realize like they're just trying to get information from you, you know. Um, it might be where you think somebody's your friend or they could even be a family member, but they're still connected to like an ex relationship or of yours or something. And it's like they're feeding that person that information, like somehow, some way. So it's like whatever you're doing, keep it to yourself this week and um, focus on who's really being honest with you and who's not, because it, it will definitely stand out like a sore thumb, no question. Okay, so. It's a kind of a very interesting reading. Um, you'll have to let me know what's up. And um, with that said, Libra, I am wishing you guys a very beautiful and blessed week. Take care.